Well, we're down here at Just Fine Food in Sorrento, where Adam White has just devoured a vanilla slice after 96 kilometres on the road from the studio to here. And Adam, can you describe your emotions when you uh, when you finished this morning? Not really. Not really. I really mean that. I, I, it's a lot of emotion. Um, a lot of different feelings. It's, 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 unless you do it, you can't quite explain it because there is just so much... Um, Mental, probably mental skill, to, not skill, mental, I don't know, mental something, um, to be able to get through and go to work for you know, 25 hours. It's a long time and you get blisters and it's sore and you get bored and all those sort of things. So it was not an easy thing to do. Probably, I don't even know what to expect from them, but um, to go through it is probably a little bit more difficult than that. In that 25 hour stretch, I, I imagine you had a lot of people that walked with you. And can you just talk us through who was with you and how long they spent in their, their efforts? And that? Yeah, I mean, that's a thing. It was fantastic. That, whether it be uh, RSM listeners that uh, came on board, that uh, was, was, uh, was listening to what we were all on about um, on, the, on the radio, and then they would come along, some through Twitter as well. Um, you know, that was probably the most overwhelming thing. There was a lot more people listening to RSM than I probably, yeah, probably thought. Um, because that was proven by like, people continually stopping me and being low throughout the course of the day. So that was a really, I think, um, a nice thing. And then, you know, I had my friends, I had my family, I had you know, people I worked with at RSN, people I worked with um, at other radio stations, um, other people in the media, like myself. Um, it was just great to have lots of different people. And if you can imagine over 25 hours, you want to try and spread people around so they're not you know, all coming at the same time and that was where it was fantastic. It was always at least one person walking with me and there were times where there were eight or nine so it was, um, it was terrific. And I think also, sorry, about getting text messages, getting tweets from, from our listeners and things like that really was a request. Whenever I stay and get really frustrated or whatever, you just go to Twitter and it really is a boost or you know, go to our website and see how much money was being raised. I think it was another thing that was a huge huge boost to, to what we were trying to do. Well, it certainly was overwhelming the support you got and you mentioned the money that was raised. What were you raising money for? Look, two great charities. I mean, great charity, what does that mean? But I think it's worthwhile charity. I think, uh, you know, the National Jockeys Trust, particularly when you go into the Spring Carnival, it, uh, you know, it's just too easy to just think of all the you know, the, the group one jockeys, the heroes of the Spring Carnival and um, you know, how great they are. But you know, there's a lot of jockeys out there that don't um, have the same success and when they have a, a really bad race fall, you know, who looks after them? You know, particularly if their careers are cut short, what happens? I think, you know, what uh, the Jockeys Association is now doing, but also the Jockeys Trust, it's all about looking after the jockeys. I think it's a really good initiative. I think from, a, from my own personal point of view, the Cancer Council is all about um, trying to raise some money and awareness for uh, cancer. It's something that's affected my family uh, and my friends. And I'm sure out there there's many people who have been um, affected in one way, shape or form by a family member or a friend uh, from cancer. So I know in a lot of ways it's a, um, it's a popular charity, you know what I mean? But you know, part of what I was doing with the Cancer Council was the Relay for Life and that was all about walking with the way they do in the relay, they do admittedly sort of taking turns in the team. I sort of try to do it all myself, but what it is is it's about a relay where we walk for 18 hours. So I think there's a big synergy in what I was trying to do is why it's really important for me to walk for 18 hours. Once again, congratulations on making the journey and, uh, and, and well done, mate. A fantastic effort. Thanks, Ed, and thanks for all the support from everyone at RSM, both uh, who I work with, but more importantly, I was.